your network today, and that's a great testament to democracy and people exercising their power, and it's, it's the power of the people, and, and that's what we'll see exercised today. I'm excited about it. I think we're going to have a great McCain win in Florida. I certainly hope so, because he'll make a great president. You know, it was interesting, yesterday on early voting, on the polling done with early voters, according to a couple of the uh, survey organizations, it was neck and neck. Uh, McCain was ahead by one point among early voters as of yesterday. Well, it's incredible. Uh, you know, I think what, what happens is they factor in both the absentee ballots as well as those who actually go to the polling places that were open for early voting. And, uh, and it's sort of a wash as it relates to the parties. Uh, and that's why today is so important. And, and, and I guess the, the most important message I would want to communicate today is everybody go vote. Make sure that if you have an early voter or voted absentee, get to the polls. There may be lines, but it's worth the wait. It's too important not to. And, uh, uh, and the future of our country is in the balance. So, uh, you know, exercise that precious right that, that so many, you know, fought and died for. Now, Governor, I know that you've been on the stump several times with John McCain. You were actually on the, 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 the list of potential VPs. And uh, I read, and you know, I, I've talked to you since, it, it didn't remotely bother you that you weren't selected. No, not at all. I mean, you know, the, the mere fact of being considered is pretty flattering, i got to tell you. Uh, but the greatest honor I have, MJ, is to be the governor of this great state of Florida. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful place. It's, uh, in my humble opinion, the greatest state in America. And, you know, the honor of being able to serve as the governor of the Sunshine State is something I'm enormously grateful for. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a great place, and it's a great honor, and uh, I'm, I'm grateful to the people of, uh, of Florida. As a McCain supporter, uh, what do you feel are the top two or top three things that people need to consider when they place their vote for uh, president today? Well, you know, uh, number one, I think experience is incredibly important. I mean, these are trying times. I think everybody knows that, uh, both, you know, as it relates to, you know, our involvement in Iraq and Afghanistan, overseas, and, and the economy here at home. And, and I think you want somebody who's got experience, somebody who understands uh, what is happening in our country and has the leadership and the skill to, to navigate us through it. Um, and, and taxes, huge issue. Uh, Senator McCain wants to lower our taxes, make sure that people are able to keep more of their hard-earned money uh, and that the families all across Florida and the country have the chance to invest their own money in a way that they think is important. For example, the education of their children. So, you know, I think on, on issues that matter to people the most, pocketbook issues, Senator McCain's a proven leader. He's a, he's a great senator and he'll be a great president. All right, Governor Chris, great to have you on again. And uh, have you voted yet? No, I'm going to vote at about 10 o'clock and uh, couldn't be more excited. And you are, I would imagine, you're in St. Petersburg now. That's home. That's where my, my polling place is. So I'm looking forward to it. All right, Governor, thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to try to give you a call on the afternoon show today as well. All right, my friend. Always a pleasure. Take care and have a great morning, and everybody get out and vote. Thank you, Governor. You bet. Right, Governor Charlie Chris.
three. Uh, free stuff today. So if you show your I voted sticker, some places will just take your word for it. Yep. Like if you go to Starbucks and say I voted, that guy usually come come. But well, what is this, California maybe uh, no dice? For Starbucks? State law bans in California giving people things to vote. What? Or stay away from the polls. Good thing that's California. California. Yeah. Right, so Starbucks, apparently free cup of coffee if you have an I voted sticker, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, ben and Jerry's ice cream. Free, free scoops from 5 to 8 p.m. Where is there a Ben and Jerry's? I have no idea. Uh, uh, yeah, right. There's one in Maniac in Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah. Sure. it's a joke. It's one up in Vermont. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Here, well, here's the deal. Democracy never tasted so sweet. Free scoops, 5 to 8 p.m., November 4, 2008 today. Limit one per customer. A free scoop. Scoop? All right, so here's what you do. You just go to your supermarket, you go to the ice cream section, <laughs> and you just bring your own scoop right there. <laughs> yes, sir. So just scoop it right out of the frozen food section at your local supermarket. Now, I'm sure you can go find a... Right. I heard they can do that. You can go to their website. I'm sure there's a store locator on their website, too. It's like, you know, sending Meredith with the uh, ski mask. You know, we can send her out to do that. Right. Did you type in our zip code? Oh, don't have me do that, please. Oh, there's, oh, there's a ton of them. Oh, okay, I'm just asking. There's a ton of them. Are there any malls and stuff? Stuck like in malls and stuff, Uni Tart? Yeah, there's one at University Mall. Ooh, oh, really? Yeah. Okay, I want the chocolate brownie fudge. Oh, yeah, what's the awesome. Krispy Kreme deal as well? I heard that Krispy Kreme Donuts are giving out glazed donuts on, a, on uh, Election Day, which is today if you vote. Mm-hmm. Free donuts at Krispy Kreme. Oh, chicken sandwiches for free at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> I'm going there for lunch. Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches. With a mask. <laughs> wow, so let me get straight here. Krispy Kreme Starbucks, Chick-fil-A, Ben and Jerry's. You can get a free chicken sandwich uh, if you have a, an I voted sticker. Wow. So those are the national chains. What are the times on the uh, uh, chicken sandwiches? Uh, Sunday from noon to 8. <laughs> Read between the lines. He was scratching his, his lip, and then he used his index finger 
first, and then he switched fingers, and then he... And go to Drudge. Drudge has it. He had a nail on the middle finger. It was more effective for scratching. That's exactly what it was, Ron. Maybe a longer nail. Who knows? Uh, go to phones in a second. If you're on hold, stand by. Don't lose your spot. Uh, did he... Uh, go to YouTube. YouTube has it. Yeah. Go to YouTube and just type in Barack Middle Finger. I'm sure before he did it, he was like, oh, shit. Oh, no, no. Uh, Barack, uh, do Obama flips off. I think that was the title on YouTube. Obama flips off uh, McCain. I'm just, gonna, do, just do flips. Use my milk. Here. There you got it. Uh, uh, Barack Obama. Uh, Use my middle, middle finger. Uh, there you got it. Yeah, yeah right there. Uh, roll that audio here. Let's we'll see it. Got it. So Obama flips off McCain. Yes, sir. Uh, search for the van, which 
Marker said it had an Illinois license tag. Unsuccessful. And officers searched area hotels and resorts and condominiums for the van but didn't find it. Uh, Barker did provide the police with a license tag, but she said that another witness gave uh, her the tag. Uh, other witnesses did not leave a name to be interviewed, so I guess they're going to follow up. That's her claim, so we'll see. Uh, let's go to folks. Thanks for hanging, folks. Uh, just a general questions, comments, statements. Uh, have you voted already? Uh, how's it going? Let's grab some calls. Hi, Tim J. Who's this? Hey, Bobby O. Hey, Bobby O. You're on. Oh, listen, a couple things. Um, you know, the, the polls have McCain down by six points nationally. Now, if you factor in, California's got him, uh, Obama up by 25. Uh, uh, Massachusetts got him up by 25. New York's got him up by 25. He's already got a 75-point lead just starting off. So, of course, McCain's going to be down in the polls. Uh, the other ones are very close. The battleground states, he's only down by one point in Virginia. Yeah, there's some serious tightening in Virginia, in North Carolina. There's tightening Florida is neck and neck. Maybe McCain up a little bit now. Ohio, Indiana. I mean, we, um, Pennsylvania has been tightening. So, I mean, there is some considerable tightening. You know what really uh, smacked McCain for a loop was the economic crisis, which, you know, really has just uh, had a certain poisoning effect just because he's on the Republican ticket. Well, absolutely. The economy's definitely got something to do with it. But these polls, it shows, I mean, McCain uh, taking the lead in, in these battleground states. So, uh, you know, whether the Bradley effect takes effect in this country, who knows? But, you know, the other thing is, is that uh, 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 for Amendment 2, I, you know, they're, they're talking about, uh, they're talking about a, a between a man and a woman, on the, uh, you know, on the Florida... Uh, sure, but Amendment 2 effectively, uh, voting yes effectively bans gay marriage. Exactly. Is Amendment so, 2. In other words, if you vote no, then then two men can be married, and, right. and I mean, that's just, that, that's crazy. All right, dude, thanks for the call. I appreciate it. Well, I just wanted to say one last thing. Yep. I mean, if, if, they, if they, a, a man pops a, uh, oh. Yeah, what, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to hear about a man popping something. A man popping something. Hold on a minute. Hold on, what? what? Yes, I'll vote for it, okay? Nope. Okay, thanks. Thanks for the call. Hi, it's MJ. Good morning. Yeah, hey, I just want to say, as a small business owner, I'm, I'm a large McCain supporter, voted McCain this morning, uh, bright and early, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's the, the heart of America is small business, and that entrepreneurial spirit, that's what built America, and, you know, if Obama gets in office, it's going to crush that, and it's just going to ruin, further slip the economy into this the deficit. And, uh, and then I also have a hard time associating with anybody that, uh, or voting for anybody that, like Obama, that associates himself with someone that stands on our American flag. And having family and friends in the military and that have died for the flag, I just, I just think it's just a horrible thing. And how anybody can want to even be, like I said, associate themselves with that is. Right, you're talking about uh, Bill Ayers, the terrorist with the weather yeah, underground. Yeah. Uh, there's, when he was promoting his new book, there's a picture of him standing on the American flag. Yeah. In, in an alley in Chicago, I believe. And, uh, you, know, you know, seeing the greatest generation of our time, World War II veterans, fortunately they're dying off, you know, slowly but surely here. And, uh, you know, and knowing that what they did and, and for our, our freedom and uh, still our military doing for our freedom. And anybody that stands on the American flag and just disgraces it like that doesn't belong in America. Thanks for the call, buddy. I appreciate it. I said, by the way, taking random calls here so I could have... You know, two Barack calls in a row here. Uh, random calls. Hi, it's MJ. Good morning. Hi, MJ. How you doing? Doing well. Um, I have kind of a dilemma in that I like McCain and I don't trust Obama because I've never heard of him before this presidential election. Well, you know, one thing's a fact here, sir. I mean, this, if Obama's elected, or even the fact that he's running, he is the least vetted, least known about. He's the biggest mystery of a presidential candidate that this country has ever right. had. No, no one really that. knows about him. And I do believe that he's, uh, you know, partially socialist. But my dilemma is, is that I know Palin's record in Alaska against wildlife, and I'm not trying to sound like a tree hugger, but she supports aerial hunting, which is downright brutal. I mean, it, I recommend you go. Well, a lot of the aerial hunting, and I know, I know, I know the story here. I've seen the commercials. I've been running for a couple of months on aerial hunting, and uh, you know, that's uh, you know, federally approved and licensed, and and, and even mandated. Uh, to help control uh, population, taking out wolves to protect the population of other animals, sir. So, you know, I'm, I am fully aware. Right now, though, MJ, that people 
people hunt predators just for the kill and then they don't do anything with them. I believe in hunting, but you got to do something with the body. I don't even believe in hunting. I don't hunt. I mean, I'm, I'm a gun enthusiast for sport and for uh, personal protection. Uh, I was at the range uh, over the weekend, you know, doing some time at the range, but, you know, I, I'm not a hunter, for instance. I don't, I'll eat a cow. I just don't want to kill a cow. I'll eat venison. I just don't want to shoot the deer. I've, I've never uh, killed an animal. I don't, I don't, I don't want to do it. I'll either. I just don't want to kill them. Thanks for the call, man. I appreciate it. Hi, it's MJ. Good morning. Hey, uh, MJ. Uh, this is my first time I've been able to little boat, so I was just wondering if this sounds correct. Uh, mm -hmm. My friend just voted, and she asked me if it was on, but uh, they only asked for her ID, and then checked her name off some list, and then she voted and handed it over to someone. So is that normal? How, how do they know which vote was hers, or is that how voting at the polls was? Oh, uh, wait a sec. She went to the polling place, and they asked for a photo ID with a signature, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, well, that's, that's normal to get your ballot, so what's the issue? Okay, because I was just wondering, because when I filled out my absentee ballot, um, you know, I had to, all my information was there. So I was wondering... No, when you go to the poll, uh, you're already on the list. You're, you're on the list, and all they need is your your uh, photo ID, your signature, and they'll match that up with the information on their, their booklet, their voter registration roll, and that's fine. If you have an ID, it's like, you know, go to the airport, they match your photo ID with the name on your ticket. Oh, okay, I got it. Yeah, all right, your vote's anonymous. Oh, your ID's on your ballot. Uh, am I missing something there? Hi, I'm Jake.